just talk us through the video that was released by Josh today? And just before you do... <laughs> Again, uh, so just talk us through the, the video released by Josh today and, and what, what the message was and what it means to him and the club. Yeah, look, it's something that Josh has, um, you know, over the last, I suppose, four to six weeks has, has been building up to this point. Um, and, you know, I can't be any more proud of, of him, the way that he's dealt with this um, and the way that he's delivered the message. I, I think it's been tremendous and it's it, all full credit to Josh. Um, and yeah, I, I just said uh, the courage that he's shown, um, and I suppose not just for Josh, the, the courage and that our playing group, you know, they got to take a lot of credit as well. You know, for Josh to be to feel that that comfortable that he could um, announce what he what he announced. It's uh, you know a credit to our playing group and and the staff that we've supported and, and provide an environment where he felt comfortable to to be himself. Yeah, most definitely. You know, we're we're living in 2021, and and you know, there's um, it's a normal part of life, I believe. Um, and it's and I suppose the stigma that's gone with it previously in in our sport, I suppose, it ha was a tough decision for Josh, and I and that's why I believe the courage that he's shown to to announce it um, when he has, um, and I think from this moment on, he will become a, a much better footballer because of that. Um, you know, as a coach, I always, you know, challenge our players to be their best that they can be. And, you know, I suppose Josh is, and we saw that at the start of the pre-season, Josh wasn't his normal, normal self. And, and in the conversations that we had with Josh, he then, you know, he confided in myself and Ross and, and we fully supported him and, and felt, made him feel comfortable to then, you know, go down that path. Yeah, look, it's, um, you know, today um, I've been looking forward to this day, um, f you know, since Josh told me because I'm just so happy for him and so proud for him as well that, that he could do that. Um, and when he, you know, spoke to me and Ross, um, we were both, you know, we couldn't have been more proud and more supportive of, of him. And, and I suppose that's, um, I suppose, why he felt so comfortable that he could in our environment. Um, that we've provided an environment that's safe for him and safe for all the players and that's what we want. We want our players to be themselves and to express themselves to, to be the best person that they can be, not just on the pitch, off the pitch as well. And I'm you know, proud of the club that we could um, provide that environment for him. You played in the 90s and I suppose, as you mentioned, sport can sometimes be a, a nasty place, fans, other players, that kind of thing. The landscape isn't always nice. Did you think you'd see a day where this would become something that is celebrated and I guess it takes so much pride in um, Yeah, I, I suppose that's how far we've come as a society as well, um, not just a sport. Um, you know, our sport is quite an inclusive sport as well, you know, we're very open so um, it, it's, you know, I suppose it was only a matter of time and and I'm hopefully, you know, this what Josh has done today, hopefully that opens more doors for more players and, and more people that have gone through the same struggles as Josh, that they can see that, you know, they're going to be supported and, and you know, then they can live their lives that they, how they want to. It's not just obviously in soccer, but in AFL as well. Why do you think it is, I suppose you can speak to soccer, why do you think it is that it's taken till today for someone yeah, I don't know whether it's just because of the, the way males are, that we are the, way, the way that they have been um, in that environment. Um, I'm not 100% not sure, but um, you know, I suppose it's just you have to be in an environment in, in, it, in a place where you feel that you're supported and, and feel safe. He says that he wishes he'd done it sooner, that, that the response has been so positive from the club, from hmm. his family and his friends, and he just wishes he hadn't walked around with this, what he says was a burden. What did you say to him when, when he told you? As I said, I was just, um, I was proud and the, of the courage that he had to, you know, come forward and that, that we've provided an environment where he felt safe enough that he could be himself. Um, 
and we haven't we haven't changed the way we've dealt, um, spoke with Josh and the way he's been at training. Um, we we treat all the players the same, and he's you know now that he's seen that you know the last four or five weeks how how um, things haven't changed and. He, you can see now the way that he trains, and because you know, as a coach, you always want your players to play with a smile on, on their face, and you can, and we've we've noticed that in the last few weeks with Josh, just the change that in this last few weeks, um, without even the whole playing group knowing that. So now we can now expect to see him even be bigger and better as a player now. Do you think there might be this might pave the way for, for more players who might be thinking about taking? I hope, step. I hope so. I hope so, because you want. I'm a parent, and, and all you want is for your children is to be happy and to be able to express themselves and be be themselves. And you know, and Josh um, can do that now. Um, and we shouldn't ha it shouldn't have to be, you know, this celebrated. It should just be a normal part of life. It, is, it can still be a touchy issue, I suppose, and, and one you want to treat delicately at times. Will you, as a club and as a coach, I suppose? and assist other clubs and players and people if they're going through this process coming forward in the coming weeks and months and years? Yeah, I, I suppose Josh will be, uh, I suppose, be able to help a lot of other people now. He's provided a, a platform and, you know, what he's gone through, the, as you said, the, over the years, but just, you know, even in the last four or five weeks, what he's gone through to get to this t today, um, it, it is, it takes a toll because um, you don't, you still feel uh, his biggest thing for him is felt felt that doubt of how people are going to res respond, and you know we assured him that you know people will be open and and be very happy for him. In saying that, I suppose if another club reached out to you, Carl, and said you know we're in a position that we want to you know treat this carefully and do it the right way, would, would you guys be receptive? Yeah, most definitely. You know, Josh, as you said, Josh has um, gone through. A, a big process to get to today and, and it's been um, planned out for him so it was comfortable for him and it's what it's all it's, it's all been about Josh and and providing the best environment and the best landscape for him to be able to f feel comfortable and because it is it was um, he wasn't sure how he was going to you know deliver it and how he was going to be in front of the boys and and that and um, you know today um, the boys were exceptional and the way that Josh spoke again today, um, not, not just in his video, and the way he spoke in the change room to the players, um, you know, he's just a, a great young man. Sorry, just in saying that as well, we've, we've got your response, I suppose the players' response, it's, it sounds like that will be really Yeah, most definitely. And I think that's a credit to the to the player playing group, the, the environment that they've created in their own change room. Um, so, you know, a lot of um, our players, you know, it's, Congratulations to them as well to provide that um, atmosphere where um, Josh could do what he's done.